Hey guys, uh, today I'm gonna talk about Xamarin labels. Um, in my last video, I showed how you can create your first Xamarin app, and we had created this master detail app. But today we're gonna uh, create a blank app so that I can show from the scratch. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna select blank and click on OK, and Visual Studio will create Xamarin app for me. Cool. So you can see that there is this app XAML file and there is main page file. So when you run the application, this main main page file is the uh, is the page which opens by default, and you can always change that. And when I open this main page file, you can see that there is a label here. Uh, to explore more about labels, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna create um, another label, another page, and I'm gonna explain uh, the properties about labels cool so when I create this new page called as labels it creates the page and by default it creates a label in it I'm gonna get rid of this properties and create a simple label uh, and name this label as simple label cool so uh, what are all things we can do with labels? One thing that we can do about labels is we can change the font size to you have these options. I'm gonna set it as large. You can also change the text color of your uh, text color of your text, and I'm gonna again set it as font size large. Cool. Um, uh, another thing that you can do with labels is you can have it as uh, a customized height and you can mention this line height to it but when you're mentioning that make sure that you're getting rid of font size because the font size overrides line height so make sure that you get rid of that so yeah we can do all these things with uh, labels I'm gonna rename this label so that I know which labels are which and I'm gonna name them and um, I'm gonna call them dark blue cool so um, another thing that I want to talk about labels is uh, when you have a longer text then how is it how does it show on the screen so I'm gonna copy this text multiple times so by default, Xamarin wraps your text, but if you don't want Xamarin to uh, wrap your text, you can always say that no wrap. And you can explicitly also mention that, okay, wrap my text. And you can call it as word wrap, and that's when it wraps your text. You can also mention the maximum number of uh, line items that you want. Uh, if you're uh, wrapping your text uh, uh, yeah so you can mention the max number of lines too another thing that I wanted to talk about uh, is the formatted text I'm gonna copy this code from uh, from Xamarin forms documentation and I'm gonna get rid of the second text you can see here that this label uh, is a word wrap label and it has two texts uh, one is uh, red bold and other is italic small uh, uh, see this is how you can have you can format your text you can have half of your text to show something else and half of the text you can you know change the si style and font of your um, font of your text so okay all right so let's see how it looks like in the design mode so you can always click on this arrow button here and it will open up the design mode and it'll show the changes that you've done on your page. Cool. So in the first text, you can see that our first, our first text is a simple text. Uh, I'm going to number my labels here so that you can see which text I'm talking about. Um, and the third text is a large blue uh, dark blue label uh, the fourth text is where we had customized size line height to it so that's our fourth text fifth text is we explicitly told them not to wrap our text our text was pretty long and it trimmed it did not wrap 
our text. Uh, the fifth, uh, the sixth label shows uh, it has word wrapped our, uh, because we had mentioned explicitly to on the line break move to word wrap our labels. Uh, seventh uh, label is where we are showing um, we are wrapping our text but we are also telling Xamarin okay not to show all the text just show two lines of whatever you're wrapping so you can do that too um, and in the eighth text you can see that we have this formatted text uh, the first part of uh, the the first part of the text is red bold and the second part is italic small so yeah you can um, you can have formatted text like that too so another thing that i want to talk about labels is i'm gonna go back here again and copy this and paste it back in the application and i want to talk about hyperlinks uh, and i'm gonna get rid of this text um first so th this time the first text i'm gonna call it as wanna google something question mark and in the in the second text i'm gonna say that click here um get rid of this style and i'm gonna say text decoration uh, and I'm gonna say it underline and uh, then I'm gonna set the text color and call and say that it's a blue because most of the hyperlinks are blue um, cool so what I'm trying to do here is I'm on this one on Google something this is a proper label and this label is a hyperlink label where it's underlined and it's blue in color so when i click on this click here it should go to google.com so but what we have to do is you can see there's a command which is called a tap command and i'm gonna pass a command parameter here as https uh, www.google.com cool so um yeah so let's run our application and see what happens i already have a m letter running so it should run the app after building and deploying okay so when I run this application, you can see that it's showing welcome to Xamarin Forms and it's not showing any of our labels. The reason why it's doing that is because our application is set uh, to show the main page as the main application page. So let's come in this code and tell our application to not show main page as the default page and it show as labels page as the main page. So when I run this app, it should it should show labels as the main page. <laughs> nice. You can see that it's now it's showing the labels page and it's showing one of Google something and the hyperlink. But when I click on this click here, it's not doing anything. The reason why it's not doing anything is because we have Men mention this tab command and we are passing this parameter but we are not we haven't bound this tab command uh, in our code behind so we'll have to do that so let's do that uh, first thing we should do is we should mention the um, we should first mention the function that it, it should it's going to call when I click on click here, so I'm going to call that function as open browser. Open browser. And I'm going to pass a string as URL. And when this function is called, then device should open URL and open new URI, which will be this URL. Cool. So now that you have mentioned the function which it should call, we should bind this 
function to our our tab command to do that i'm gonna create a public uh, i command um, i command here and it's not we haven't added a system windows input so i'm gonna add that and then mention this as tab command and set a command here which takes a string parameter and uh, open browser as the function another thing that we should do here is we should bind our page to this uh, this code behind so i'm gonna do that binding context is equal to this uh, cool so and now let's go ahead and run our application I'm gonna click on click here now and when I click on click here it goes to um, Chrome and it opens google.com so yeah this is how you can uh, work with uh, labels in Xamarin in my next video I'm gonna talk about text boxes uh, thanks for watching the video stay tuned um, and let me know if you run into any issues thanks bye